Hey guys, and welcome back to Satisfactory with me, Tenzin. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing pretty good. If you guys like today's episode, please like and share as you see fit. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Just really like the visual effects in this game. Really good. Especially that planet. Saturn. It'd be kind of cool if, you know, Earth had something like that. Like a planet. You know, obviously if the planet was that close, you know, there's implications to it. But if you could see something like that, that'd be really cool. Anyways, <laughs> let's get on with what we were actually going to do. So, uh, we're kind of picking up uh, where we left off in the last episode. Uh, building our large basic item uh, factory. I have been doing some things in the background. Not a ton, but some. Um, I found another doggo. Uh, and I have penned them all in individually just because it was getting to the point where like you'd walk into the pens. Or in here, and I couldn't select all of them. So, uh, at the moment... None of them want to give anything. Fine. Uh, that's our life. But we have been getting some pretty good stuff from them. So I will show you in just a second. As soon as we pet them all. Make sure they're all happy. See, this was the new guy. Number eight. I'm running out of names. <laughs> Although my names make absolutely no sense. And they're just like, I'm just winging it. So not all of these slugs have come from, uh, from the dogs. But a good chunk of them have. Some of the slugs I have found out in the wild. But I'm just kind of uh putting them all together just stacking them up so we can, at one point we will eventually be able to break them down and create a lot of uh what do they call power shards so this is pretty much what we've gotten so far um i'm kind of excited about the fuse modular frames i know they're worth a lot when you put them in the awesome sink uh lots of computers as usual they really like to give computers which i really like um Odd thing, too, is that they like to give a lot of meat. Like, different, uh, styles of meat. Let's just see. Okay, lucky. You're not lucky anymore. As you guys can see, I have been working on our factory in the background. So, there is an additional floor. So, we'll work our way up there. There's a, three things I want to do today. I want to pretty much finish this factory. Uh, I want to go work on steel. Getting the steel factory going. That shouldn't take us too long. Um, actually, and as you guys can see, monorail trains is what we have for technology. Um, oops, for a milestone, right? But I can't remember. It might be, we might not be selected or have it selected at the moment. Let's just see. So tier five, we, we've done all that. Okay. So, oops, wrong screen. What I want to do, yeah. So we do have the, um, the fuel power generators. This is kind of where I want to get to. I want to probably get the footprint down, figure everything out as to how we're going to do it, what it's going to look like, and uh, move on or move forward from there. All right, there's just random stuff in those boxes. I should really clear out this one. Uh, staters are always a good thing. Sure, I'll take that. Why not? All right, so anyways, let's start. So in the last episode, nothing's changed down here. Still the same. Actually, no. Uh, yeah, no, everything's the exact same. So we have three miners um, feeding, what is it? There's 16 smelters per, right? So 16, 32, 48 smelters down here. And I'm kind of curious as to why there's two yellows here. Okay, so they're just backing up, which is fine. Um, I'd rather these back that back up than the factories above, right? So obviously this logistics floor is not a logistics floor. It's just uh, an insulation floor <laughs> And then uh, Go up here. Sorry Guess I can get rid of that actually let's go uh, No, this will probably work the best so you guys can see we have our screws our plates which are backed up once again, this is really weird. We're going to have to look into this because I should be eating up plates as quick as possible, but we'll see. And then, obviously, rods. And rods are backed up also. So, um, before we move up to the top floor here, let's just get some smart splitters. Do I have what I need for a smart splitter? Uh, logistics. Yeah, we do. We have it uploaded. If I hold control, I've been told that should work. Like that. Um, and then 
then, where is it? Where's our awesome sink? They're right here. Oh, I guess we need to put a merger down too, right? Wrong. There we go. So... Nice and easy this way. And of course, we did not trip into each other here. So we're just going to have to rerun this. I don't know why the uh, MK4 belts are so difficult to snap to each other. And then, oop. Nope. We'll go with that one. Just because I, I want the, the belts to constantly constantly be working, right? So, need be. It is what it is. Um, and then here we will we'll put for overflow. Yeah, that's working. And where's the overflow on this one? There we go. Perfect. Okay. So, we got that going. So, these, this row, or those... For rods, nothing's changed. For plates, nothing has changed. For screws, I've added 16 more uh, constructors. And you can see exactly where we left off, right? Like, so this is now up backwards. And then I have the screws going this way, which is kind of odd. Maybe we're creating more than what this belt can handle, which is more than likely because it looks like it. Those ones are all backed up where these ones are just... Working fine, so kind of sad, but that's all right. <laughs> Eventually, we'll use them all. So we have all of the two rows of screws. So there should be 500 screws and 500 screws coming up here. Going into this logistics floor, which these ones, this one feeds here, and then down over uh, on this side too, and then this conveyor belt, which is coming from that corner goes this way and feeds these machines over here and then same with the rods the rods come up over here fed and then the plates obviously went that way and that way i know not the greatest but when i tell you what we're doing up here you'll understand what those logistics were for so here we have reinforced iron plates being made the old uh, i think this is the old-fashioned way right yeah the only recipe we have so we have four assemblers set up to create those and then over here we have four more assemblers creating heavy modular or modular frames not heavy modular so that's where the screws are going is uh screws and reinforced plate and i think this is the generic no this is the alternate so got that going and then they're all being fed into this storage unit right now and going pretty good so there's four you know four to four and then over here we have four assemblers making rotors and this is the original um recipe i was thinking about doing the, the alternate but i was like oh the screws like we we make more than enough screws but we just can't move them quick enough right we just don't have the belt and then this one we were making rods down on the second floor or yeah on the second floor and they were going nowhere but an awesome sink. And I was like, you know what? It's just probably, they're directly below us. It's probably easier just to get them up here and use them in these machines. So these obviously are making rotors, which are right here. So what I want to make, or sorry, clicking on the wrong stuff here. As you guys can see, we have an opening. We don't have a ton of room up here, but we have some room. But what I want to do is we have to get some stators going uh, or we have to get stators going and then motors going. So that's why I made sure that we have the rotors going. So we only have to worry about getting the stators going today. Um, and for the stators to get going, obviously we need the copper and we need to, sorry, I'll bring this back up. We need to get some iron up here because, uh, sorry. Nope, that's the wrong one. It's a constructor we need. We have an alternate pipe recipe, which is 20 iron. So if we use, let's go like this really quickly. So 100 per minute, right? Uh, we have miner. 
Not that one. Sorry, we have a resource. It's that one right there. It's just sitting doing nothing. So that one should produce 480. Yeah, I believe so. We'll have to do the math. I haven't fully done the math here, but I believe we can get 480 uh, ingots out of there, which would then obviously create... Uh, we'd need four of these on the second floor to create five pipes per second or per minute. No, sorry. 25 per minute. And then this one for the staters, it needs 15 pipes per minute. So we're going to be making more pipes than what we actually need. And then the wire, wire is super easy, right? So that's what we're going to work on right now. I'm kind of feeling like, okay, let's do this the proper way. Let's work from the floor down here up, right? All right. So we'll see really quickly. Uh, I'm just setting these two up. So we have obviously four constructors making wire, which are then, you know, two is going to feed into one, two is going to feed into one. So that's going to bring this up to 60 per minute. This that'll produce 30 cable per minute. Uh, so between the two, it'll be 60 cable per minute, which I think that's more than enough. Um, but what would you say? So that each of these is going to take 15, these constructors over here to make uh, copper wire going to take 15 uh, ingots, right? So that's uh, 30, 60. I was like, okay, better check or figure out how much um, copper we can actually get out of this miner here. So it's going to be kind of nice when this is all done because it's going to be nice and clean. So this is 120, so 240 if we make it an MK2. I don't believe it is. No, it's an MK1. So 240 is what we can get out of here. And I'm sure with the smelters, it's probably one for one. But right, let's just see. Uh, 30. Yeah, one for one. So 240 is what we get to work with. So we're already down to 180. So we have 180 to mess around with. So that being said, let's take a look at... So I'm already making wire. We're going to make... We're going to need to make extra wire. Ooh, I should have left that assembler down here. Or, yeah, whatever. So let's look here. So, to make the staters, it's going to require 40 per minute. And this is going to, for wire, 15 is going to provide 30. Uh, how, let's just go with four, because we're going with four with everything else. So, let's just assume that we're going to put four assemblers out there. Um, that's going to require 160 cable per minute. So, to make 160 cable. Uh, oh my goodness, 4 is uh, 120, and 150 would be 5, so 100, we could potentially overclock 1 to create 10 more, so let's say 5, it's going to require 75 ingots, so 75 plus 60, we're at 135 now. Okay, uh, I really should be picking down notes here, you guys. Just because, you know, I don't want to mess everything up. So give me one second. Okay, wrote that down. Now let's look at copper sheeting. Because I think the copper sheeting is the most... Ex or one, yeah. So it requires 20 for 10. So let's just do some easy math here. So 240 minus 75 equals 165. And for copper sheeting... Like, I know we need to use it at some point. Like, obviously, for piping and stuff like that. So, uh, so 165 is left. Uh, once, I think it was 20. So, so, eight. Eight of those would require, or great. Uh, yeah, 80, 80 copper sheets per minute. Quite a bit. But, you know what? I think just how it goes we'll go with it Ooh. um also while i'm sitting here looking at this i just need to remember mm, the pipes so 20 of these is going to create or 100 per minute is going to create 25 per minute and how many does it need 15 per minute and we were going to make five of these assemblers or four of these you know some days your brain can like math really quickly and then other times you can't <laughs> or mine at least so we need 60 pipes per minute 
which I think honestly this is 25 so two of these so if we went with four we'd have two feeding two plus a little bit feeding into the assemblers and one in a little bit just um going into storage for further use somewhere else okay I like it let's do it that's gonna work so for these this is good um I kind of want to do the wire down there and feed it on the outside so that's why I'm kind of building down here so then uh let's go with the cables are good eight constructors just for or yeah constructors just for uh copper sheeting uh, so of course you did get rid of these Hopefully somebody's been counting because I'm not. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, that's one, two, three, four, five. And you know what? Let's just bring the... Oh, what do you want to call it here? The copper sheeting up beside these. Just that way we can get a full eight and not have to worry about overclocking at the moment. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whew, that's a lot. A lot of machinery. Actually, I haven't even checked our power grid. I know that it wasn't. Yeah. Like, it's not horrible. Like, we have quite a bit still. First thing in... Well, it's not first thing in the morning, but it's not... It is still morning-ish. You know, probably around 9 a.m. <laughs> I'm actually kind of surprised they don't have a clock in this game. But, uh... You know, just... So you know roughly one day and night cycles are going to happen. Uh, but either way, usually overnight, the our dogs usually reload. And you know, I'm just waiting. I'm waiting. There, there's eventually, there's going to be something that's like really, really good from these guys. And I just, well, I'll take ammunition any day. Eh, concrete, not, not a fan of it. Come on, you guys need to, okay, in case industrial beams. Ooh, there we go. AI limiters, obviously, we can craft those ourselves, but... Honestly, so far, I think it's, you know, other than those fused frames being really, really expensive, uh, or I shouldn't even say expensive, I'm sure they're expensive to make, but other than um, those, like, I'd say that's kind of, like, top-notch best thing so far. Uh, being crafted, but what I really like the most is the slugs. The more slugs, like if these guys can constantly produce slugs that we don't have to go hunt for, I'm happy with it. Um, but either way, I think I have all of the logistics done up top here. So that's right here on the end. These four, uh, yeah, four constructors. Those are this, uh, the pipes. And then obviously we have the cable wires coming down here. Uh, this belt here and then uh, in this belt here is the copper sheeting. They're all going to run into an awesome sink just so that we can get them up because it is a manifold system um, and I think I do have to upgrade some of the uh, well, what would you say some of the conveyor belts. There we go. That was difficult for some reason. So we're going to upgrade this you know, and I did the math wrong too, because I guess we're not even going to overclock this one. We're just going to go 240, because that's all we need. So, for smelters, how many actually do we need? I think it's one for one, right? So, 30 per minute, uh, 30 per minute. So, uh, 240 divided by 30. So, we just need eight. It's a small amount. Uh, I don't want to block this one. Not at the moment. Actually, the copper. I think we might just go up and over. We could probably put the eight right. Where is that mine? Right here. So, get over to our blueprint. I think it's this one. Yeah, 12 smelters. Need to find that little bit of extra. There we go.
Is that what I want? Uh, yeah, because our outer wall is going to come there, come down. And then this can loop either up and over to our 16. Because we're going to have to do 16 smelters for this one. Um, this is going to be interesting. The cable, since we're running that conveyor belt a little bit different, it's probably need that. These machines need to back up plus that belt line. And then these will be properly filled up. But uh, at the moment, everything's working there. So let's get the iron up here now for the constructors here. Got the logistics hooked up for the pipes now, or for the iron and the pipes. So all I need to do is re... Oh, I gotta attach these for some power. But, uh, and then I don't even know if we need to actually move this miner. Because even if I turn... Whatever, I'll turn it. We need to make it at MK2 anyways, so... Like that. You know, it's interesting. It looks like it's nighttime out, but uh, it could have been... It might be day, too. Uh, just kind of lost track of time in the game. You know what I mean? That's why we need that, that clock. Uh, so let's click that. What does that look like anyways? Just so we can kind of reach. Honestly, that doesn't look bad, but fine. It's probably because I'm off just by like a hair on here. So let's go like this. We'll just run it how it is, how it just naturally wants to go. It doesn't look horrible. It clips to the, the concrete, just or the foundations just a little bit, but I've had worse. Okay, so what we could do, since I didn't change anything about this power, go like that. Okay, we're missing a recipe there. Honestly, I don't know why I didn't do that for all of them, but... Okay, and... Our ingots. I believe I have everything that I needed to upgrade it, so... And we need to overclock this one to 480 here. So, boop. All right, there we go. This one's getting ramped up to 480. So we should be good there. All right, now all I have to do is go to the top floor and work on uh, what we want to put there. Actually, you know what? Let's put this in the cloud. And with you, we'll put them back. Okay. Let's just make sure that the I'm like a 99.9% .9 sure. That we are creating nothing here. There we go. There's some iron. Uh, let's just take a look. What is causing the issue with the iron? This meter, does that look like it's moving very, very slow? Oh, it is. Is that an MK4? That is... So I probably missed it on the top, too, as an MK4. There we go. It's in here waiting, 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 waiting. Okay. Uh, flickering doesn't matter to me. We'll worry about that li later. Okay. Uh, so why are I stopped down there? So I think the reason that I stopped it down there or down here is just because we have all of this room here and we can work that way, right? We can bring stuff up this way and then over and then down, right? So, assemblers. Um, I'll kind of pretend to place this one. Yeah, that one looks good. So also, just so you guys know, up here, like, we don't have a ton of room, right? But, uh, how can you see it? You see me doing the horseshoe there. I've done a horseshoe here. This, this one isn't as good, I guess, as a horseshoe as this one, right? So, if I needed to expand this, I can just add more machines down this way, and this horseshoe just gets a little bit bigger, right? So, that's why I'm doing it that way instead of 
you know, one for wanting it straight across or something like that, right? Um, this allows for expansion, right? So, okay, so here we want motors because we got the rotors. Uh, why didn't I copy those settings? Okay, uh, what do I need to bring up here? State, uh, pipes and cable. Okay. Give me a minute, you guys, and I'm just going to get that done right now. Okay, so that, and then now we just need to merge these all together really quickly and put them into a storage unit. Because we need... Oh, I completely forgot to say the whole time, but I thought it was kind of self-explanatory. But either way, we need uh, motors for our fuel power generators, right? So... We might not get to them today. I don't know. Like uh, like I was saying, we might just get to the foundation. Because uh, we still need to... Work on... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I can just do the steel factory in the background. Um, where is organization? That's right down the middle. Do we have any motors being made yet? Nope. What are we missing? Rotors. Zod. Oh. Yep, that'd be a good reason why it's odd, right? Then hook them up. Yeah, maybe I'll just do the steel factory in the background just to get the basic set up. Um... I will actually probably reduce how many pipes we build over there. I, uh, I don't know. We'll see. Let's see. What's our power drain now? Oof. We're getting pretty close. Well, you know, I say we're using about 50%, so. Okay. Uh, let's go do the, the foundation for our steel factory real quickly. But first, I think it's been a full day. Let me check the dogs real quick. If there's anything good, I'll bring you guys back. Um, but if there's not, I'll see you guys over where we're going to do the power factory. Okay, this is a little intense. I've never seen two of these larger guys run together. Stop messing around. Oh. I don't know why I keep getting close to the ground. I think I'm just used to the... What are you guys, like, invincible or something? I think I have the foundation set up for us. The, all right, I guess not the foundation, but a rough idea of the foundation, how we're going to build on this one. Uh, sorry. And this one is definitely going to be multiple floors because we're 300. I think the last time I did the math on 300. Oh, wait, but... Uh, all right, sorry. Everything's changed now, right? Um... The fuel generators produce more power and require more uh, oil than they normally do. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to have to check that out. Let me throw this first line down of foundations. And the second one. Why not? Because we got to go back. Backwards. Need to start doing some, like, aesthetic stuff, right? Making the... Everything look good. Eventually. The outside of buildings. Okay. So, power... Build generator. Yep. Take a look at this bad boy. 250 megawatts. Uh, but you need fuel, so... Just go like this. And 
What is this one doing? That is liquid biofuel. I believe this one is just normal fuel. Interesting. So, there we go. Got some re residual on here. As soon as we get a little bit of oil, fuel in here, we'll be able to actually tell how much it actually requires. But 20, but 20 per minute. Or right, yeah, that's not too bad, right? Was what, 15 before? So. I'm just wondering, how many motors do we have built already? Let me go take a look at that. Because I, I wouldn't mind doing the mono, getting the monorail done. Because I haven't played with the, the ray, uh, trains yet. But it'd be kind of nice to know what they're all about. Alright. Wow, okay. Um, we don't have all that we need, but we have quite a bit. Uh, I need to... Like that, sort this. Anything else in here that we can just make disappear? Computers, I think we're full up on also. Oh, you know what? That's another thing we haven't even looked at. Okay. I was messing around. Well, I wasn't messing around. I was exploring. I was, yeah, messing around, taking a look at like our surroundings in the world here. And I just want to see if we have any motors. Okay, we don't have any motors in here, but I did pause really quickly. Look at how many Mercer spheres we have. 18. Uh, summer sloops, I think I only have one additional one. Oh, two. Uh, maybe two? I th yeah, it was two. Okay. So I found two more summer sloops and a ton of Mercer spheres. So let's take a look at the MAM. Oh, we also have a hard drive done in here too. Wow. Garbage. Don't care about it. Um... Alternate steel cased plate. Steel cased plate. Like, it's still the same thing, right? Iron plate. Yeah, okay. I don't care about that one. Okay. We have another hard drive. Anyways, uh, that's not what we want to do. Alien technology. There we go. So, what do we need here? 703, 13, 23. Wow. Because upload speed doesn't really matter to me. It's the stacks that we need, right? So 103. Okay, should have enough here. Oh, motors. Also, we need to replace the space elevator. And I want to see if that thing uh, moves. With the space ele elevator, I'm sure it does. But I want to see it. I want to see it do it. Um, What is going on here? We are making that many pipes that everything is backed up. I'm gonna say I'll I'm gonna say well, how are we supposed to launch this? Bye bye pod. Milestone reached. Trains are excellent for efficiently moving vast quantities of parts. Train logistics can be made more precise and complex with tools found in the railway signaling milestone. I listen to all my pioneers, often when they're not even aware of it. So due to popular demand I have added a motivational message. Okay, I honestly didn't know that was gonna happen, but are those words were going to be said? But yeah, we can do... Uh, what was this right off the bat? Just uh, MK2 pipes. Alright, let's give this a shot. So, I'm going to go like that. Can I move? I can. Milestone reached. Pipelines and pipeline pumps can now be upgraded to Mark II. They are like Mark I, but better. Pipes seem to be objects oh, of no fascination way. to humans. In fact, there are recorded instances of humans doing nothing but thinking about pipes for hours. Okay. I think we'll start... Yep. We can damage at some point. Question is, where's our body? Is our crate way up there? 
you know, I'm sure, you know, it's just one of those things where you have to try it, right? Funny thing is, is like how fast we went up. Uh, okay, and I thought I saw 200 plastic kicking around somewhere right there. We just need a little bit more plastic and we got this one done too. I was thinking to myself, I was like, do we dare ride hit, ride that again? Milestone reached. Manufacturers Let's just see if we can see where our death crate is. Hopefully it's not like parts, beyond some boundaries. And heavy modular frames, we'll jump off before it gets to the two new project parts. The modular engine and adaptive control unit are essential for the development of phase three of project assembly. Okay. You were making good we'll get progress. Off here. The future is starting to look bright. Dude, I just, I completely just jumped. Okay, let's see if we can see our death crate when we're falling here. At some point we gotta fall, right? Um, is he going back to the planet? Not supposed to show back up for 14 minutes. I believe we're still going up. We are. Where's my crate? I wonder if there's a way to clear those crates also. There we go. It looks like now we're going down. There we go. So that's the world, hey? Watch for these crates somewhere. Nice to know that we didn't go straight up or straight down. We launched all the way across the world. <laughs> okay, so we're not going to be able to see those crates. Oh, okay. Alright, so we died a couple of times uh, because I decided to do something fun yet uh, ill-advised. But uh, yeah, you know, we got through it. We s we're, I'm probably going to notice that I'm oh missing stuff at some point, but... Like, I don't have any bullets, really. I have 15. What do you need? I know there's gas masks in here. Like, can we even make the gas masks at the moment, or no? You know what we don't have being made anymore? Actually, is the versatile framework. Can I just... Do we have enough? Did we build enough at that one time? I don't think so. I think I just... Stopped making it all together. Hmm. Well, at least we know what we can use these other two iron mines for. Okay, uh... Hmm. So it must be in tier 7 or 6. Or 7 or 8, sorry. Or it's in the MAM. Ooh, what's this? Doesn't matter to me, doesn't matter to me. And once again, doesn't matter at all. So, hard drives, hopefully I uploaded those. Sure did. I think that's why the cloud storage is so good. Okay, um... I know we have one scanning at the moment, but... Mycelia? Oh, okay, there we go. Fabric that, and some coal. I'll make that in the background, but yeah, I think the gas mask is something that we do need to... To carry around with but uh yeah that's gonna do it for this episode guys so if you guys like the episode please leave a like leave a comment if you haven't already please subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one